Um, obviously, probably a bit of a weird ending for a UFC debut. Give us your thoughts on it and, and tell us how you felt the fight was going until that moment. The fight until then was perfect, man. I was dominated and undefeated Dagestani guy. You, you, you don't see this too much, right? So I did perfect in my striking. I did perfect in my ground control. I as I said to you guys, I trained with Damian Maia and I showed that to the world. I think all the guys thought that I'm just a striker and I'm just like to bounce in and out. But if you go to the ground with me, you're going to have a problem. So with the ending, is that take a little bit of the shine off your debut or are you okay with it? Or how are you feeling about it all? I'm okay with it, but I'm frustrated a little bit because there was one minute left on a perfect fight. It was a monologue, you know? So I think this is not going to take my shine away from me because I was doing great. Everyone was seeing that. And it was a hard fight, a tough guy who was throwing with everything that he got. But I think I did a great job. Wasn't perfect just because of the way it ended. And by the way, it wasn't meant, man. I, I didn't want it to do that. I thought, actually, I think it missed some attention, you know? But it is what it is. I'm ready to another one. At least it wasn't a DQ, right? At least you still have the win. That's what I was worried about, to get a DQ, you know? Because I was doing a perfect fight, man. And get a DQ in that debut after a f fucking perfect performance. I was worried for sure. That's why I was with the crowd and say I'm sorry to everyone because I wasn't meant to do that. I'm a martial artist and I'm really take martial arts serious, you know? And I will never, never do an illegal thing on purpose. Well, despite the ending, like you said, no one really does that to an undefeated Dagestani, right? They're pretty tough guys to just sort of go through, and you did. So I think you have a lot of attention on your name now. So where would you like to go from here? How quickly would you like to fight again? Do you have any names of people you want to fight? What do you do now? <clears throat> I'm not going to ask for any names just because the fight ended that way. I'm going to respect the moment, you know? Uh, uh, I want to I wanna fight again in August, maybe. I need to heal something. I had two big injuries in this fight. I almost got out of the fight and was a tough camp. So I need to rest a little bit, two weeks, and go back, get better. And I'm always going to get better, man. What you saw, I'm going to be 10 times better. You will see. I look forward to it. Thank you. So is it just... Was it just getting caught up in the heat of the moment, or was it a moment for the for the, the illegal strike, or was it just that you were unsure of the rule set at that moment? No, I was I was I am sure of the rule set. I thought he was with just with the tip of his finger. That's what I thought because his knee wasn't on the ground. I didn't feel that, but I couldn't see too much. What is a little bit of uh, no attention, you know, but. It is what it is, man. I'm sorry for Gadzi. I'm sorry for his team. I'm sorry for the commission for doing that. But uh, it, this, this won't repeat. I, I, I promise you guys that. Did the, did the ref make it clear to you at that point that it wasn't going to be a DQ? Did, were you waiting till the very end, unsure if you were even going to be awarded the victory? Or, or did you kind of have an understanding that you were OK at that point? Yeah. I, I was afraid to get DQ, man. I was very afraid to get DQ after that kind of performance. But then my coach said, calm down, calm down. I think we're going to the judges' score. And I, I knew in the judges' score I was, was winning. I was dominating here, man. So not the way that I wanted to end, but as I said, it is what it is. You did a lot of great work when you took his back and you were very dominant at a lot of those times. What certain outside of, you know, obviously it didn't end the way you wanted to, but what were some of the main things that you were really happy with your performance that really stood out for you that maybe you surprised yourself a little? I didn't surprise myself. I've been working for 10 years to get in this position, and I wanted to show everyone that I'm not just a striker, you know? So I think everybody saw a very good ground game, a very good control in the ground game, and I train, as I said to you guys, I trained with Damian Maia for a lot of years, so I know how to take the back, control the back. He was doing a great job defending his neck, but I will improve my wrist control and everything, and next time, squeeze the neck. If you had to compare, you know, Damian Maia, I think people underrate how great he was, you know. Um, if you had to compare the two between Damian Maia or going back in there and, and wrestling and, and fighting with somebody on the ground, who's tougher? 
Damian Maia for sure, man. Damian Maia is the king of jiu-jitsu in MMA. You, got, you guys need to know that. I've been training with him so, for so many years. He's been squeezing my neck for so many years. So he's the greatest on the ground, man. There's no one like him, you know? So I learned a lot from him, and I think I showed it today for you guys. Did he give you any sort of advice or any words going into this big, big event for you? Oh, Demi is, is kind of an uh, uh, introspect guy, you know? He's, uh, we talk a little bit. I trained with him a little bit for this camp. Uh, I've been training with him for a long years, but this camp I didn't train too much with him because he's, he, I think he got retired and he wasn't training a lot. But uh, he was coming to the gym to train one time a week in the morning, and then I, I was going there when, when he was coming, you know? So, yeah. Damon is the best, man. I, and I showed the Dagestan guy in the beginning. He took me down, and then I swept him, you know? And that's where he thought, man, it would be hard to keep this guy on the ground. That's why he keeps striking with me and throwing everything that he got, you know? Because I think he knew that he had no chance with it. I know a lot of guys aren't out there calling out Dagestani guys, but that could be uh, your little trademark thing. Is that something you might want to start calling out some more of the Dagestanis and taking that fight that other people don't want to take? I can take anyone, man. I'm not, I'm not going to call the Dagestani guy. I have very, very respect for these guys. They are very tough. They are doing this wrestling thing since they were little. We saw Khabib, what he did, and I'm a big fan of him. So. I don't want to make this like a rivalry, you know, but anyone that comes to my, in front of me, I'm going to destroy, man. I'm going to dominate on the feet, on the ground. I can do everything. That's why they call me the natural, because everywhere is just natural for me. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.